first, though, the honor of Memorial Day comes full circle for one fallen Cincinnati soldier finally laid to rest after more than 60 years. The Now's Brianna Harper shows us what this homecoming means for his fellow soldiers. The sound of taps carries throughout the cemetery in honor of one soldier gone but not forgotten. Private First Class Everett Eugene Johnson. Honoring PFC Johnson, the man we were able to do so, priceless. A son, a brother, an uncle, and now a hero. PFC Johnson, a Cincinnati native, served in the Korean War back in 1950. He was later killed in combat along with several others, and his remains were unidentified for more than 66 years. But the battle didn't stop there. Never leave a fallen comrade, uh, and that shows uh, myself and other young soldiers uh, that at some point the Army will never stop. Just last year, PFC Johnson was officially identified and his remains returned home this weekend from the Pacific to Cincinnati just in time for Memorial Day. For you to actually give uh, the honor uh, to a soldier that's earned it, uh, albeit a very long time ago, to give him the, this deserving honor is again my extreme pleasure. Members of the 2nd Battalion, 8th Cavalry Regiment, the same which PFC Johnson served, helped lead the escort to his final resting place. For some family and friends, today was an emotional and long overdue goodbye, but for PFC Johnson's fellow soldiers, it's also a chance to memorialize a hero who made the ultimate sacrifice. The standards he set in Korea are those same standards you're trying to uphold now, and the guys well after me. Brianna Harper, The Now, Cincinnati.